Hey everyone, welcome back to Red Madden Racing. Welcome back to the channel. We got a new package here. I ordered some stuff from Cal RC. I want to show you guys what we got. They make some great products. If you guys haven't seen the mat behind me here, this is the Stealth Series, the extra large magnetic mat. This pit mat, well, I'm not sure. It's not a pit mat, but the workbench mat. This thing is so great. As you can see, I put all my stuff on the sides. I like the Traxxas mats because they're pretty uh, durable. You can cut them up and I just tape them up with some Gorilla Tape. They handle glue really well, but I really like Cow RC mats because they're really, they, they really help organize your parts and your parts don't really roll around a whole lot and they're really easy to clean. So I wanted to get another mat and a couple other things. So we're going to check that out, get this thing unboxed, show you guys what we got. Huge shout out to Cow RC. I love your guys' products and we're definitely going to get some more in the future. Let's check this out. Be careful opening it so nothing gets cut. Here we go. Oh, look at that. More stickers, information about what we ordered. They definitely supply a lot of savings. Check that out. Ooh, more Cowarcy stickers. Love that. Oh, look at those. That's cool. I think I know what those are for. All right. Nice packaging, too. Uh, let's stick this out. Oh, here we go. Check that out, guys. Utter butter. This is the Cow RC Utter Butter Super Waterproof Grease. This stuff is what we're going to be using on all of our future repairs. Look at that. This is supposed to be really good, high quality grease. So we're going to be using this on all of our differentials. I got the smaller container. Once we use it out and try it all out, See how it works. We're going to go ahead and order the big one. They, this is the eight ounce. They do have the much bigger containers considering the, how many cars we have now. Definitely have to get a bigger one. All right, let's check this stuff out. Oh, look at that. Guys. Ooh. Look at that. Thank you guys a lot. We didn't even order this. Thank you guys for sending this. This is cool. This is going to be, this is really going to come in handy. I always have little mats next to me just so I can throw my tools or some quick washers. Wow, that's really cool. Thanks, guys. Oh, another one. I already have one of these, uh, but it's always good to keep one on both sides of the bench. It's a little pit mat. Let's try and get that open real quick. Here we go. Oh, that's cool. It's almost like a mouse pad. Almost like a mouse pad. I like them because they're a little pit mat. I put them right next to my other mats. That's cool. More stickers. Can't get enough stickers, guys. All right. Let's open up this one. Oh, let's see what's in here. Oh, this is the light. Let's go ahead and take this down and check out that light. Oh, wow. Look at that. All right, guys, don't make fun of me, but the older I get, the harder it is to see. And wow, look at that. Even give you the charging brick and a cord. Let's go and plug this in. See what this thing looks like. Looks like it plugs right in the back. Get that plugged in. Ooh, okay. Oh, wow, guys, that is a touch pad. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look at that. It gets brighter. Let me turn the light off above me. You can change the brightness by the pad. Let's check out the actual light. Look at this. Oh, you can change the tint of the light. You guys probably couldn't see that on camera. Wow, that's really, really nice. And it looks like it's got a timer. Wow, that's really cool. Really cool. I wonder what that is in the center. I bet you that's where you can charge. Yes, you can charge your wireless phone from your work light. That is cool. This is so nice. And this is what these stickers are for, guys. We're going to put these stickers on this lamp. That's going to look cool. Let's go and do that. I was going to put those on. 
See how this thing looks. Look at that. That looks cool. All right, let's see the back side. Oh my God, look at that, guys. Look at that. Wow, that is, I am thoroughly impressed. I, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited about a light, guys. This is, this is cool. And yeah, don't make fun of me, but as you get older, uh, it gets harder and harder to see things. So having a nice work light, I'm gonna have to get another one of these. So if you're, if you're listening, man, I'm gonna order another one of these from you. This is cool. That, that's well worth the money. All right, see what else is in here? Looks like we got some rags. Ooh. Look at that, we got some pit rags. Those are nice. Oh, those are gonna come in handy. That's gonna be nice. Ah, another one, three pit rags. I can't tell you how much I'm gonna like these. I mean, you, you know it. I mean, cleaning these cars, making them shine as clean as we make ours, gotta have some good rags. And we got some Cal RC thread logger. This is the blue. This is pretty much the medium grade. I wanted to get the big ounce because I wanted to see how nice theirs was. I do have a palm with the other one that I, I you guys see me use. I don't mind it, but there's some. I, I'd rather have it more either liquidy or gel. I don't like it in between because uh, I want to make sure that it dries properly. This is nice. I got a nice 50 milliliter bottle. That's 1.7 fluid ounces. That's going to be real nice. I like the cap. I like it's a lot easier to use. The other ones, the caps either don't seal it or they leak out. This looks nice. Now I went ahead and got some Moo Clean Tire Wash. This is tire hand cleaner. We're going to test this out. I got some dirty tires here from when we went out to do some RC clash. So we're gonna go ahead and check this out in a minute. Got a nice squirt bottle. Let's see what else is in here. Oof. Got a big mat, let's check this out. This one stuff fell out of the mat too. Look at that. Got another brand new mat, guys. Let's check this mat out. Now this is the 24 by 30 inch Screw Catcher Carbon Series. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. I like, let's move you guys back a little bit. There we go. Look at that. Wow, you know what? I'm gonna have to get more of these. And I'm telling you why right now, I like the edges. This is more, this is rubber. I don't mind the foam ones, as you can see down here, I don't mind the foam, but I know over time, especially with heat, uh, the foam can get kind of damaged or can move around a little bit. But this, this is gonna be nice taking on the go. Uh, each side, I like the sides because what I like to do is when I'm working on a car, I usually designate one side for front, one side for rear. That way my parts go in those sides. I don't have to worry about which ones go where. So this is gonna be nice. This, this is a big mat. This just fits on the bench. So this is gonna be nice. I'm gonna to have to order one more of these. That way we can kind of move the Traxxas ones out of the way and use these. That's gonna be nice. That is really pretty guys. All right, now let's see else what we got. Let's see, we got stuff fell out of the bag here. Oh, look at that. Went ahead and sent us more cleaning brushes. Those are really cool. I got some on the wall over here. Uh, we use these a lot. When we wash the cars, it really helps to clean the receivers out, uh, you know, dusting the hubs, uh, getting stuff out of the cracks of the body. Uh, that's, that's, these are really nice. And to have more of these, that's even better. It makes cleaning a lot, lot easier, guys. Ooh, let's check this out. What is this? Oh, look at these. I use these at work. I use these at work and I love these for cleaning uh, battery terminals and stuff like that. 
little scrub brushes. Oh, and little, uh, I like the heads on those. You can actually scrape some stuff off. Those, those are gonna come in handy. I like little stuff like this. It gets in the tight places, especially uh, around the axles and the drive cups. That's gonna be nice. This is what caught my eye. Okay, I'll be honest with you. I, saw, I thought you sent me some shavers or some knives, but uh, in fact, these are brushes. I like the curved edges. I think that will help get into, especially the control arms and the axles. These, wow, these are nice. Those are gonna come in handy. I like those, and you sent three of them. Thanks, man. Wow, what a great setup. What a great setup. This is gonna make work on cars so much better. I mean, I already like working on them because I like tinkering around with stuff, but this just makes it a whole lot better. And we got some tire cleaner we're gonna try out. There's a lot of other stuff I wanna try out for cleaning our cars. Uh, this is just first of many. Uh, there's some degreaser I wanna get. But what I wanna do is I wanna get one of my dirty tires because I know I got some. I got, you saw the Max sitting out, right? So I got right here. I got some dirty tires on the Max. Let's go ahead and get these cleaned up. All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna spray these tires down real good. Spray the sides. I'm gonna flip them over. Spray the other side. I think that's all we need. We're gonna take our brush here. We'll go ahead and clean all of them. Just flip them over. And it says to spray brush to agitate it. Give it a good scrub. Make sure you spray the sides that you missed. I think that's all we're gonna need. Now we're gonna do is we're gonna blow them off. That's it, let's check them out. Look at that. Those tires literally look brand new. Those look a lot better than just using a little bit of simple green and water. They, those really shined up well. These tires are really old and beat up and they're looking really good. All I had to do was spray them down with the Moo Clean tire wash, agitate them with the brush, get them nice and clean. Then I just took the air compressor, uh, blew them off, and then I used a rag just to wipe all the extra off, and there you go. Those look great. All right, guys, so the Max looks great, looks nice and clean. I love the light. The light, I'm gonna buy another one. I'm gonna order another one. I'm gonna put on the other side, maybe the Patriot. I'm gonna get the Patriot one. Those, those are so nice. I love the cleaning brushes and the cleaning supplies. Stuff like this, that really gets in for the shocks. Shocks, axles, anything that you gotta really get down in there because you can't get all the grease out, that kind of stuff really comes in handy. Uh, the other butter, I've been wanting to try this. I do have a sample right here. I haven't been able to use it yet. I am going to use it. Now that I have this, I'm just going to put them all in one. But I'm going to service my discs with that. That's going to be nice. The Moo Tire Wash, I am thoroughly impressed with the Moo Tire Wash. It's nice on having to hose your tires off where you can just spray that on, scrub it down a little bit and blow it off and have it looking that nice. That's nice. As far as the mats go, you can't not have a good mat. Guys, you gotta get a good mat, especially if you're working on your RC car a lot. You don't want parts rolling around. You don't wanna lose screws or anything like that, especially if you're at the park and you got a bench and you got one of these mats and you don't want your screw dropping into the grass, get one of these mats. Check out cowrc.com. They have all kinds of mats to suit your guys' needs. I really love the small one, guys. Just something like this, I could probably take to work and use, but I'm definitely gonna leave this here. 
I might get another little one. I like these little ones, especially the mouse pad ones. I got one over here. So I already had one, but I love these because you can use them as a mouse pad or just an extra pad, you know, to put your stuff on. Uh, makes your bench look really nice. So definitely check out CowRC. They have great stuff. Thank you for sending this stuff out. I really appreciate it. I'm going to use it all and I'm definitely going to be ordering some more stuff. So yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out our Patreon and our Instagram channel. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this. See you in the next one.